Nearly had me over then. Had the lion here. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. <laughs> right, good morning uh, and welcome to another Coaster Crazy vlog here on YouTube. Today we're in uh, Bellaward. Uh, I think I said it right then. Bellaward. Yeah, got it right. I don't know how to say morning in Belgium or anything like that. So yeah, we're in Belgium well, today. French, isn't it? It is French, yeah. So uh, yeah. Eh? Oh, what well, is morning in French? Morning, we don't. Bonjour. There you go. <laughs> That'll do. <laughs> but yeah, straight in here. Well, it looks like yeah, it's a Mexico area, all themed area. 30, Thirty-two euros to get in. Uh, it's not too bad. Eight euros for parking. Really nice, dead easy to get here. About two and a half hours from the hotel where we were staying in France last night. I've actually got me uh, Star Wars cap back on. If you're not following me channel for a while, or you knew this is like, I, I was wearing it all the time for a while, but yeah, keep the sun off my head, I think, today. Straight off the bat, you've got the world's first uh, operating Vekoma boomerang. Technically, it was going to be the second operating one, but the one in America didn't open in time. So you've got this one opened up after. You got the uh, the little uh, cockatoos here. Oh. <laughs> cockatoos on your shoulder. Oh, they're cute them. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Ah, oh. hello. I put it on my hand. I put it on my hand. Hello. Right, sorry about that. Cutting you short there. She was uh, taking a picture. Yeah, the um, the uh, the little cockatoos. So put put these in the bin. I think we don't we don't we don't bother with the pictures. Yeah, they clip the wings of the birds so they don't fly away. Again, we're quite big animal lovers, so it's a bit. Mm, Make your own opinions about that. But anyway, first ride we've got here is one of these. Martin knows a bit about these. I've never. It's a topple tower. Huss. And it's open. Huss topple tower. Yeah, it's Huss. quite unreliable. It doesn't open all the time, so we're lucky today. Yeah, look at it. I have no idea how this thing works. Crazy. I'm not sure about POVs at this park. But we can. We can film POVs. Ah, she got the email. Yeah, unfortunately, I've emailed um, Heidi Park a few times and they've not got back to me, which is understandable with it being a Merlin Park. You obviously, you can't film at any of them anyway, so I understand that. Slag Harry, I think they're a bit up, they're a bit funny with POVs as well. So we can here. Um, I think we can at Helen Dawn if we're going if we go to Helen Dawn, but we're not sure yet. So we might just do Slang Harren and then just stay there really because we're quite looking forward to gold rush but yeah today is all about bellaward and it's it's beautiful actually really well themed you got hurricane there which is a Ziera uh, coaster it's indoors as well first bit's outdoors and then it goes indoors as well like i said you got the vacoma boomerang uh, you've also got uh, a couple of um alpine coasters but there's actually two of them together and there's no there's no brake on it. You just basically walk up a big hill, and then oh, a brake dance! <laughs> awesome. Uh, you walk up a big hill, and then that's it. You just descend down it. And I think there's a uh, a uh, what's it called? Uh, another little Tivoli, a uh, bit like Rattlesnake or Egg Express, and um, and the one that's at Oakwood as well. So yeah, you got this break dance here. So yeah, there's only a few coasters here. Technically five, but it's down as four. Here's Hurricane. I think this only opened a few years ago. I think we might go and queue up for that first. 
Yeah, so the first section's outdoors and it goes indoors. That looks pretty cool. Do you want to try that first? Yeah. Yeah. There's a 4D cinema over there. I like this themed area, very nice. We're in Mexico. Yeah, Mexico area. They got a map. I didn't get a map, so I'll have to get one in a bit. Yeah, very nice. All right, here we go. 2013, so it's it's not as it's not as new as I thought it was. Oh my god, I can't see nothing in it. Oh. <laughs> I went blind for a second then. Yeah, I try and get you as much. Oh wow, it's going to be yeah, it's rammed. Long queue in here. Right, so we're in the station for Hurricane. It's taken us about about half an hour to get to this point. Looks really good inside here. Like I said, it's classed as an indoor coaster, but um, it's got a little bit of outdoor section. I like the boxes on the other side as well to put all your stuff in. The trains as well. We've just got to queue up for the front row because you wouldn't see anything anyway. So. It doesn't really matter where you sit, but it looks really good in here. Whoa, onboard audio. Wow. Wow, this is really good. GoPro's picking that up well enough. Oh, it's gone off. Oh, wow, that was awesome. That's it. Wow, Hurricane was awesome. Wasn't expecting that at all, I know. It was sort of a, an indoor coaster because it says it, it's an indoor coaster. Apart from that section there. But no, that was awesome. On, on board audio, lasers, light effects. Hello! What's this on the telly now? Coaster crazy, check me out. There you go. <laughs> we were going to go over and do the break dance, but Charlotte said there's a bit of a queue for that. So we've got to try the uh, topple tower. I've never done one of these before. It was quite interesting, really, as well, about some parks obviously don't let you do on ride filming and that sort of thing. But we said, <laughs> we're in the queue line for Hurricane. And some, when the train pulled in, there's a guy with a massive SLR camera in his hand, so obviously they don't really care. But yeah, that was awesome, that was really good. Really impressed with that. Uh, obviously, some of the lasers wouldn't pick it up as much as uh, actually seeing it in person, but it was really good. 
Oh man, 18 degrees already. Looking quite busy as well now, so yeah, Easter Monday today. I don't know if it's the same over here, but I'm guessing so. We're looking at the crowds. So yeah, next up is the, uh, what's it called this? I think it's just Topple Tower. Oh, here we go. Right, here we go on the Topple Tower. I actually think it's called Topple Tower. We did look, but I've forgotten already. Really comfortable seats on this. There's the boomerang. Oh. Oh, it's quite spinny, isn't it? It's a really odd sensation. Oh! <laughs> I like it. Yeah. Very unique ride. This I don't think there's many in the world. I'm sure there's somebody that does know. I'm sure Harry Harry uh, Wolf Roden knows how many of these are. Oh, horse as well. <laughs> oh, it's so weird. I think that's it, isn't it? Is that it? It's quite a short cycle when you're on it. When we was actually waiting for quite a while for that. I really enjoyed that. Such a unique ride. There's the boomerang again. That uh, Puss Topple Tower was really good actually, no, it was alright, it's good to get you unique rides in, especially when you don't know how long they're going to last or how rare they are. I Seriously, I've never seen one of them before, and what I do is I actually have a little spreadsheet on my phone where I list all my coaster credits, and what I do is every time I've been to a new theme park, a fun fair, amusement park, whatever, I always write it down, and I've been to 90 different places around the world up to now. Uh, well, 91 today, yeah, 91 today, plus whatever four or five credits we'll get today. So I'm not uh, forgetful. I've actually forgot how many credits I've been on now already. <laughs> I'll get you on the next one. I'll have a look at my phone, but yeah. It's well over probably 320 or something now after what we did last night at that fair. I uh, hope you enjoyed the vlog from there. What was it called again? Fwa de Tron. Tron, there you go. <laughs> that was a mad fair, that. One of the biggest fairs I've ever been to in my life. Other than like Winter Wonderland, Hull Fair, Goose Fair, that sort of thing. Right, next up we're going on El Toro. And not the one at... Uh, not the one at Six Flags. Not the one at... Yeah, yeah, not the Intamin Woody, unfortunately. It's, uh, it's a little... Uh, 
Is it a horse? Horse break dance, type three. Type three. So it's got a, it goes up in the middle, it's a cone, and it doesn't have a backboard. Oh, excellent. Yeah, here we go. And obviously, theme to little buffaloes, El Toro. Let's go. Should be good, this one. good as well. Woo! So far impressions of this park are really nice. I was just saying to the guys, <laughs> we're still in this, we're still in the main park, main entrance of the park. We haven't been out of it yet. Been on the three rides here: Hurricane over there, the coaster, the topple tower, and now this uh, horse break dance. There's a 4D, I think it's a 4D cinema. Yeah, it's a 4D cinema over there as well. And then you've got the boomerang. This is really good. getting that much force at the minute though. I think he needs to turn it up to 11. Oh, there we go. Brakes are on. Yeah. Well, wasn't much force on that one. Here we go, second coaster of the day. 1984 Vacoma Boomerang. <laughs> right, I did say at the beginning of the vlog that this is the world's first operating Vacoma Boomerang. Crazy, I'm not expecting it to be smooth at all, but hopefully it's pretty good. Big uh, cattle pen queue on for it. it looks pretty busy already should be about 20 minutes we reckon fill the trains up it's you know they're not a, a long running coaster really are they just you know what they're like well no it looks good this one in the trees I don't know really what else to say about them they're not particularly my favorite type of coaster I do uh, think that uh, speed of sound at Wallaby Holland's the best one we've been on and I really 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 like triops the other day at Bagatelle. That was awesome.
Right, sorry the um, the view's not great. There was people in front of us that ran to the front, but <laughs> the operator is a fan of the channel <laughs> and he said we can pretty much go straight back on and, and do a front row POV. So this is the world's oldest operating Vacoma boomerang, 1984. Yeah. No, I am sliding out the seat as well. <laughs> I'm pretty much standing up here. Get to the top, straight into it. Yeah, it has. <laughs> Waited quite a while for this one. Mm. There we go. There we go, time to get 5.2 G's going backwards. Here we go. Oh, oh man. Oh, oh. Oh, man, they're intense. Yeah. <laughs> Oof. Oh man, sharp brakes as well. <laughs> Dunk. Right, there you go. We've just been on the world's oldest operating Vacoma boomerang. And yeah, we've just done it twice in a row. Um, I did do a separate front row POV, obviously if I'd done the front one first I would have probably come back later and got another one but uh, I've done a separate front row POV with no talking or nothing on it, that'll come up uh, at a later date um, as a, like, a homage for it being the world's oldest Vekoma boomerang and it's very intense, it's actually quite slow going up the lift hill, obviously you saw the footage, we're all feeling a bit like Ooh, like you do off one of them. They are one of the most intense coasters on the planet. 5.2 G's going backwards. Yeah, it, we're all sort of like, oof. oh God, yeah, they're, they're intense. 1984, it's really old, yes. Crazy how all these parks have thought, I really want one of those coasters. They look really good when then they're all right i mean speed of sounds really well looked after at wallaby holland regarded as one of the best of the world in my opinion it is the best in the world it's amazing it's really good on board audio all that sort of stuff but anyway that's that uh, end of the park done and uh yeah we're going sort of i don't know i haven't really looked at a map but i'm, I'm guessing we're going in the middle of the park now yeah, yeah, Wild West section now. Probably, yeah, uh, probably something to eat and another drink. But no, so far, really impressed with this park. It's not the biggest theme park around, but it's well themed. Lovely little old log flume down here. I'll have to ask uh, Charlotte for her, uh, she's looking already. We found a new web page, haven't we? Yeah. It, what is it? Charlotte's log Char flume. Charlotte's log flume database. Credit yeah. list. Database. <laughs> Data, database. If, and again, if you're new to the channel, if you haven't noticed, we're from the same place. We are the Morecambe Massive. <laughs> we are. We are. We are ex Frontierland's <laughs> biggest fans. Proper Northerners. Proper Northerners. Aye. Right. What's this one called? We got. <laughs> I don't know yet. Log flume. Texas it, <laughs> Texas tornado. It probably will be like river splash or something. There is another um, water ride though. We'll get back to you. She's looking anyway. Yeah, she's found a new list. 
Uh, if you don't know about coasters and things, there is a really good one that all the enthusiasts use, which is uh, the roller coaster database. Everyone's looking at me vlogging. I'll probably get a few vlog bombs today. But the Europeans are really nice. Even at the fair last night, there was a lot of uh, people that, I don't know, that you wouldn't think were there at the fun fair to go on the rides, put it that way. And it was great. We actually had a really good time. Great atmosphere. It was brilliant. So go and check that one out if you haven't seen it. Tomorrow, we're going to Slagharren in the Netherlands. So at the moment, this park is in Belgium. So we've got a long drive to get to Slagharren. And if we get the park done, we might have a little quick trip over to Helen Dawn, which is only 30 minutes away. But yeah, audio's playing, it's all themed. I love my Wild West theming, I really do. So we've just walked around that corner, just around there. We found out what the uh, log flume is. <laughs> and then, um, oh, have you? Frontierlands was aerodynamics. It was an arrow. I thought yeah. it was an arrow. Yeah. And we found out that this river splash is a Revachon. Revachon. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like I say, we just walked around this corner. Here's the next coaster credit. It's a massive queue for this. This is another 20-minute queue. It's a busy day. This is the little uh, uh, Ziera Tivoli. Pretty much the same as uh, Rattlesnake or um, I forgot what it uh, the what. What's it called at Oakwood? Which one? The Sierra, Tivoli, Oakwood. Log, um, tree tops. Tree tops. Yeah. Rattlesnake. 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 <laughs> Not rattlesnake. Egg Express. Express. Egg Express. I keep calling it Egg Express. Egg Express. It's our northern <laughs> twang in it. Egg Express. But yeah, really nice themed round here. Just basically just walk around a big corner, really. Log flume looks busy as well. So yeah, so far we've had a Mexican themed area, we're in a Wild West themed area. Really nice, I don't know what the rest of the park's like. I think there's a zoo here as well. Um, there's also a Alpine coaster, a twin one. That's the next other coaster. Yeah, it's really, really nice park. And there's a Rapids as well. Should have a good day really. Like I said, we've only been on a four or five ride so far. Big queue for the Big queue for the uh, for the log flume there. Wow. It actually feels like we're in America, it's crazy. I love it.
Well, this uh, park is uh, it's busy today. Um, we obviously we've just been on the little Tivoli then. Really good actually. It was a it was a bit rough, and I bashed my elbow on the uh, on the first drop. I am soft, proper soft. But no, proper proper old school coaster. That really enjoyed it. But no, I just walked past. I'm not joking. 200 people. I just walked past. I just want to show you something quick. We are walking to pretty much the rest of the park. So we've come in the entrance here and we've done this bit here, just done uh, the, the little Tivoli here. We've got to keep walking past the log flume because it's too busy. We've literally got all of that whole park to do yet. We've literally just done that and you've got all of that. It's crazy. And they're all themed areas, India, Jungle, Far West, Kids Park, Canada. Wow. I think we'll have to come back to this park. Oh, it's jungle themed. Whoa, we get squared by that snake. This park's lovely. I really like it. It's a jungle mission. I don't know if it's the, is that the boat ride? Really nice park. Wasn't expecting any of this at all. Yeah, I like it. Just wish we'd actually seen a bit more of it. We've been in, like I said, we've been in the park nearly, nearly four or five hours. We've done four rides. Yeah, a little boat ride. Oh, awesome. I think this might be a park worth coming back to in the future. And it's not actually that far from Plopsaland de Pano as well. So like I said in the past, the Plopsaland, it's actually that close to the UK from, or from Calais, the tunnel or the ferry. It's about 40, 50 minutes. And you can do it in a day trip, but if you come for the weekend, there's monkeys over there. Um, if you come for the weekend, you could come and do this park as well. It's not far at all. I like it here, I like it. It's a good, good feeling to it. It's very busy though. So anyone want to guess what this is? Yeah. It's got a bit of a coma madhouse and it's called Houdini and it looks like that definitely a, a, a coma madhouse I didn't even we didn't even know this was here we looked at the map earlier me and Martin and we were like definitely a coma madhouse there's no queue for it either so yeah about, about five or ten minutes we're straight on this one let you know when we come out might show you the pre-show I'm not even sure if we like to film on the ride really but uh, it's not a bad queue just a few people there waiting.
Lucy is the fucking dog. Oh, there's a guy being sick just there. <laughs> it wasn't that intense. Oh, nice. He's just sat there being sick. There's a guy over there. Well, there you go. First time I've been there, I walked down the middle of a Vekoma Madhouse before because there's normally a, a table or something there in the way. There's no way of joking. There's a guy being sick on the ride. Right. Last mirror. That was not bad, that. Yeah, that Vekoma Madhouse wasn't too bad, actually. I can't, I, I can't get why there was a guy being sick on there now. That ride's had to be closed now. But anyway, we're in the India area, as you can see. Rapidos. Yeah, it's one of them weird ones as well. I've never been on one of these before. There's also a tiger enclosure over there, we just walked past. Uh, there's lions down here. So yeah, it's, um, I don't know, sort of a bit like Chessington, really. There's a Bengal Express, oh, it's a train, it's coming in now, I can hear it coming. So there's a train. I don't think there's really many more rides, to be honest, other than the uh, rapids and the, you've got the Alpine coaster as well, which is what we're walking over to see if it's open really but no I'm having a really good day again today it's amazing like I said earlier pretty much um, pretty much guaranteed we might come back to this park we're just saying to Lisa if we ever do Plopsalander Pan again maybe maybe next year now again um, when they have rethemed the uh, the log flume I think it's Dino Splash or something it's called um, we could probably potentially do a weekend and come here again as well it's a really nice park and with it being so busy, we just haven't really seen in most of the park yet. I think we're getting towards the end of it now anyway, but it's really nice. It has really got sort of some sort of like bush gardens vibe to it with the animals on the sides, refreshment centres, rides, it's busy, the weather as well. It's 26 degrees as well now, it's really hot. Right, so walking down this huge path here, really wide paths, great for the uh, for the uh, well, the people coming in here. As you can see there, Alpine Coaster, a really unique one as well. I've been reading up on this one. Instead of normally going, starting at the bottom, and you've got like a cable lift, takes you to the top, and then you descend all the way down. Um, this, you actually start at the top of it, um, and then it just, yeah, there's no brakes on it either. Here's your stunt and dive show. Lumberjack Festival. Don't really know what that is. Obviously it's some sort of uh, stunt show. But really busy here. Walking towards the drop tower as well, which is at the end of the path. Again, the same as the one that's at Oakwood and the one we went on at the fair the other night. So Huss Drop and Shot Tower. Looks like there's a pirate ship just coming up here on the left hand side as well. Wow. Awesome. What a park. Yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this one. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment and like. Uh, also on Facebook as well. Coaster Crazy. Uh, and then my personal Instagram as well is Coaster Crazy Andy. I'll post some of the uh, sort of the nicer pictures. Hey, yeah, there's a Guinness World Record here. Belgium at Belgium on one Longest marathon on a fairground theme park attraction is 50 hours riding and was achieved by Sam Claus, Belgian guy at Bella Word. Yeah, so 50 hours riding a pirate ship. No, thank you. <laughs> Couple of cycles, and that's me game over on these. I don't know where the guys have gone actually. Can't see him. Yeah, Coaster Crazy on YouTube. Yay! You? There you go. You yeah, Coaster Crazy on YouTube. You're on the telly now. You have to subscribe. Coaster Crazy. 
Here we go, Dawson Jewel. Uh, better be quick, I'll lose my spot again. Uh, Dawson Jewel, 45 minute wait. You can't take your bags or anything up with you because basically you start at the top and you finish at the bottom. So <laughs> there's no baggage hole for this. So I've just got my chest harness and you got a little lanyard as well. I don't know if it's free merch, but I doubt it. And you've got to climb all the way to the top to get there. Oh my God. It's like a whole rope, high ropes course. There's the lift hill for the uh, for the actual, for the little bob cars. It is classed as two separate coasters, this. There's no brakes on it either. Basically sit on it and away you go. There's a show building for that stunt show over there. Oh my God, this has got to take an hour to get up here. we go Dawson Jewel there's no brakes on this one so it's not like a traditional Alpine coaster most of them have like a little brake or the levers on the side you pull them up it's just automatic braking really really smooth just a seat belt Woo! winning already but the actual track work and the steel work that has gone into making this must have cost a fortune. The ride is nearly finished. Whoa, they're catching me up. Oh, it's awesome. So smooth. Really is, there you go, that's it, done. That was literally taken. I don't know, I can't see what the time is. Just over a minute. Dawson Jill was a, a pretty decent alpine coaster. I must admit it wasn't as good as the one we did in Poland. The fact that we went all the way up to the top of there and waited 45 minutes for a ride that literally took a minute, just over a minute. It was so it was so smooth though. I mean you know they've done an alpine coaster, they are really, really smooth. Uh, so you've just got the uh, water slides ride here, probably won't be bothering with that. You've also got the Huss drop tower, shot tower, you've got a little Mac boat ride thing just here as well. And then there's a splash, uh, like a shoot the shoot type ride, oh big shoot it's called, just in the back there. Uh, but now the park closed in what, a couple of hours and there's so much we haven't seen yet. We've got the rapids, the log flume, there's loads more to do. But well, I'm not sure what we're going to next, but uh, yeah, just stay tuned and uh, you'll see when we get there. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, it's time for the Rubber Dingy Rapids, bro. Bengal Rapid River, this one is. So yeah, we've left the what was the Canadian section at the park a bit further behind us. Come down to get a bit of a uh, bit of wetness, I think. Don't know how long this queue line is, but I'm guessing it might be quite a long one because it's it's still rather warm today. Looks like a good one with some effects, with some theming. Oh man, massive queue. It's been a busy day today. What's your, what's your head? Watch your head. Iron Man t-shirt. Hey, Iron Man. 
<laughs> Have you used to ever been on one like this before? Never. Never? It's Never. weird, isn't it? It's like it's broken. Oh god, here we go. The actual rapids itself, uh, well, the boat, it doesn't look that wet, so... Yeah, the water doesn't look very wet, does it? Yeah, it's a uh, lazy river. It's a big layout, isn't it? Ooh. Spinny, spinny, spinny. <laughs> yeah, just to let you know, they do have an app uh, for the wait times here as well. There's an app for that. Oh. It's weird. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, no. Hey, we survived. <laughs> oh, that's it. Let's do some spinning. Oh, it's really odd. Oh, it's speeding up a bit. Oh, KFC Mega Wave. Oh, KFC Mega Wave. <laughs> That's a bit of an old joke, is that one now? Then there's some um, waterfalls and all sorts of things on this one, cannons and things. Spare boats. Spare, spare boats. Oh, there's a cannon over there. Oh, we're going straight to the wall. Doosh! Oh! oh. <laughs> My back's wet. Oh, here we go. Oh, my, oh, my feet! Oh, hey! Whoa! Oh, this is a proper wave! Proper mega wave! It's a good one. Oh, uh, you gotta go straight under it. Nah, rubbish. That's it, I think. I think that's it. It's not. Nearly four minutes worth. What's around here? Camera, 25 meters away. Rapids cred. Uh -oh. Rub it in your rapids, bro. Uh oh, oh that's not look, look like it's worked for a while. No, it just, it just went off. Oh, did it? <laughs> yeah. Both of them? Yeah, one oh. working. Oh. Uh... Oh, I missed the camera. <laughs> I didn't even see it there. <laughs> oh, well, I think this is better than Popeyes. <laughs> it's alright. Better than Popeyes. Blue Toes Rat Ball Barge, or whatever you call it. That was about it, really. It wasn't too bad at all. Alright, so we just walked to this section of the park from the rapids. We've literally just walked up this path here. Um, yeah, there's the pictures over there where we got the pictures with the cockatoos this morning. You got a wave swinger over there. Little fountain package here. This, I think, is actually the main entrance of the park. Uh, but obviously we came in some sort of side entrance. 
looking at the map from over here, yeah, it's, it looks like this is like the main entrance. And we came in at Mexico. Uh, yeah, Ingan, yeah, yeah, this was, this was the entrance, Lions, like Lion Lionel Kids Park. It's just like obviously the kids section. Oh, this is really pretty around here, look at this. Restaurant self service. It's pretty around here. It's pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Look at these. Little Zampella balloon right there. A uh, little drop tower just behind it. This is nice. I like this park. Look at that thing. That's amazing. Such a different and unique park. I love it. I love these European parks. I really do. And then we're going into Savannah now, which is obviously a zoo area with some animals and things. Try and head around towards where the uh, where the log flume is, and then try and get a couple of re rides. I want to do Hurricane again because that was awesome. That was the indoor dark coaster we did earlier. Yeah, I just want to say, I mean, big thank you to Martin and Charlotte. They was it's actually they invited us along with them on this trip. Lisa's. Um, We've come in Lisa's car and we've got a lot more travelling to do, yeah. Obviously we're going over to Hansa Park and Heidi Park in Germany as well. Oh man, they're a long way. We've got a few more fairs to do, apparently there's another one tonight that they've planned in, so they've planned it all. I'm just going with this flow and then showing you guys what we're doing. It's this biggest road trip that I've ever done. And I love them. If you've never been to Europe, you've got to come out here and check it out. It's it's so good. Some of the parks are so good. Wow, this park is um, yeah, it's pretty impressive. Some zebras over there. Oh, so let's walk around the corner. I just noticed it's not just zebras in there. You've also got some sort of bison and giraffes. You should just be able to see one there between these people. Yeah, it's amazing round here. Really big enclosure for it as well. Just seen there's some, uh, some pelicans over here. Oh, I think they're pelicans. Yeah, they are. Oh, they're running away. Run away. Wow. Oh, they're coming back. Don't you look They do a Halloween event. Looks like one of the scare attractions just here. Halloween 2019. Yeah, awesome. on the, uh, the log flume. Took us about, I don't know, 10 minutes was that, was it? 15, 10, 15 minutes. It's actually a, a Revachon model, this one. Oh, 
yes. You reckon? Ooh, same in. It's a fast one. tight oh, oh, oh man <laughs> who's wet in the back um, are you wet intermediate level. oh intermediate what's the lens like on here oh it's wet that was it that was awesome that Log flume was really good. Didn't actually get too wet on it. Again, my legs got wet. I've sat at the front. Looks like I've weed myself more than anything. <laughs> Let's see if we can get another splash coming. Yeah, really good. Right, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it for the uh, for the park, really. Um, Martin and Charlotte have gone off to do the other credit for the uh, Alpine coaster because there was two sides of it. It's right at the other end of the park. Uh, I quite fancy going back on Hurricane again if we've got enough time. The park does short in about 15 minutes, so I'll have to get there quick. It's just around this corner though, so it's not too far away. Again, we've had an awesome day here today. It's It's been awesome. It's been really, really good. I've really enjoyed it. It's been a really good park something new something different i've i haven't seen a park like this for a while actually it's really really well themed i've really hey, really enjoyed it it's been great the theming's spot on the coasters are a bit mm, could do with maybe one or two new um, coasters but other than that it's been great i love this wild west theme the mexican theme it's brilliant and it's been great to get on the world's oldest operating boomerang as well, which is called Boomerang. It's been good. It's been really good. I think the highlight ride for me is probably uh, Hurricane, the indoor coaster, which is where I'm heading towards now. Like I said, the uh, topple tower, that's quite unique as well that we did at the beginning. Just a great park and somewhere that I would definitely come back to in the future. Probably not for a while, I don't think, until he added something. Hey, another <laughs> more people. Probably not for a while until he added something new. But no, it's good. Like I said, it's it's probably a good little trip to do for a weekend. Plops of land Japan and then here as well. Brilliant. Really enjoyed it today. It's been it's been awesome. At Bella Word. Yeah, really good. There you go. There's Hurricane going around outside.
Right, that's it. Just had the last... Um... <laughs> He'll be doing that all trip, I'm telling you now. Um, right, we just had the last final ride on uh, Hurricane and I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a really good indoor, outdoor coaster. Really enjoyed it. Lasers, onboard audio. Great, loved it. Did another front row POV there. It also had the, uh, the world's oldest operating Vekoma boomerang just sat there yeah I've asked the guys it's a bit it's been a bit of a mixed bag of this one really I've really enjoyed it I would actually recommend coming to to, to this park uh, like I said Plopsaland isn't far away either um, I'm gonna have to wrap this up pretty quick my battery's running low and um, yeah it's been it's been a good one today really enjoyed it uh, plenty of rides I've enjoyed the theming we're actually off to another park. Again, if you have new to the channel, please subscribe, comment, like, and uh, yeah, give us a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to follow the Facebook page, Coast of Crazy. Don't forget to go and give my Instagram a like, Coast of Crazy Andy. And from this really well-themed park here in Belgium, I'll see you later. Bye for now. Attention, ouais. Allez, allez, ouais,